namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdanapanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa aming mundo. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Good morning, Balinsalanos! Welcome to another episode of Health Optimizing Physical Education 4 here in Balinsuela Live. I am Peter Patrick. Join me for another day full of learning and excitement. To start, I would like to request everyone to please type your name and school on the comment section below for our new normal attendance checking. Again, your name and school on the comment section below. Let us see who are watching with us today. Hiking and mountaineering have become popular in the recent years, involving persons of different ages from different walks of life. Hiking became popular because of the adventure and the nature tripping. But aside from being a good recreational activity, hiking can also improve our fitness, especially the cardiovascular fitness and also the bone and muscle strength. Let us all discover the proper preparation for hiking activities. Before we discuss the proper preparation for hiking activities, let us have a review of the topic about moderate to vigorous physical activity. Let us have a simple game. I'll be showing different physical activities and you will identify if it is a moderate or a vigorous physical activities. If it is a moderate physical activities, just give me a hard react. And if it is a vigorous physical activity, then give me a light react. Are you ready? Alright, let us start. Activity number one. Swimming. Is it a moderate or a vigorous activity? Timer starts now. And the correct answer is... Light react or vigorous physical activity. Activity number two. Walking. Is it a heart or a light react? Timer starts now. And the correct answer is heart react or moderate physical activity. Activity number three. Hiking. Is it a heart or or a like react. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is like react or vigorous physical activity. To keep you guided on what you should know and do today, here are the most essential learning competencies in today's session. Number one. Sets FITT goals based on training principles to achieve or maintain health-related fitness. Number two, engages in moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes most days of the week in a variety of settings in and out of school. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Number one, know the proper preparation before hiking. Number two, Perform physical exercise to improve bone and muscle strength. Hiking is a fun and exciting activity, but it needs a lot of preparation. And it includes the preparation of the things to bring. Let us have a simple game. I will be showing images of hiking materials and try to guess the name of the materials. You will have 5 seconds to answer by typing it on the chat box. Are you ready? Picture number one. Can you name this trekking material? Timer starts now. And the correct answer is trekking pole. Trekking poles enhance your stability and can reduce force on your knees 
while hiking and backpacking. Picture number two. Please name this trekking material. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is trekking tent. It is a portable shelter consisting of a rigid framework covered by some flexible substance. Picture number three. Please name this trekking material. Primer starts now. And the correct answer is trekking bag. Hiking trips typically require a backpack so that you can easily carry water, food, additional clothing, and other necessities. Very good, grade 12. Most of you knows the different materials in hiking. Let us now proceed on the benefits and proper preparation of hiking activities. Although, most of the first-time hikers may say that it is our cardiovascular system that can be developed in participating to hiking or trekking events. But aside from cardiovascular fitness, it is also evident to professional hikers that they have a toned muscle. Trekking and hiking build the strong bones as they require optimum effort from the body. Because backpacks are very essential in hiking, they should be chosen with care. Backpack like clothes should have proper fit. Most of the weight of the backpack should be supported by the hips. That is why the waist belts are the one of the most important features the one must pay attention to. Be careful not to overload pack. Experienced trekkers may be able to carry more weight, but beginners should start with less weight. A loaded backpack should not exceed 25 to 30 percent of the ideal body weight. And that is the proper way to prepare your things before a hiking activity. We already know the health benefits of hiking or mountaineering, as well as the preparation and things to bring during hiking activities. It is now time to prepare our body for a hiking event. So to prepare, here are some of the exercises for future hiking activities. Here are some suggested exercises for hiking activities. Number one, quadrip hip extensions. Number two, lunges. Number three, hip thrusts. Number four, knee tuck hip breeds. Number five, squats. Number six, steps up. Number seven, floor jack. Number eight, improvised kettlebell swings. Number nine, hip breeds with extension. You may consult your PE teacher for more details about the here are the suggested set, repetitions, and schedule for those exercises. Always remember two. Number one, perform warm-up and cool-down exercise. Number two, take 15 to 30 seconds rest in between exercises. Number three, allow your body to rest and recover by having at least one day rest before your next schedule of workout. At this moment, we are done with the preparation of things to bring and preparation of our body for hiking activities. Let us have another game. I will be showing statements about hiking activities. You will just identify if it is true or false. Give me a clear react if the statement is true and give me a sad react if the statement is false. Let us start. Question number one. By participating in a hiking event, we can only improve our cardiovascular fitness. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is false. Question number two. In properly carrying a hiking backpack, we are almost doing the same intensity of weightlifting exercise. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is carry up or true. Question number three. If we are going to participate in a hiking event, we must bring as many food and other stuff as possible. 
Timer starts now. And the correct answer is sad react or false. Question number four. To avoid overexertion, it is important to perform warm up and cool down exercise, especially proper breathing exercise during hiking activities. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is carry up or true. Last number. Bone and muscle can also improve in participating in a hiking event. Your time starts now. And the correct answer is carry up or true. Congratulations, grade 12. At this moment, I will entertain some questions or clarifications encoded in our comment box. What is the advisable frequency of height per week? It depends on a personal capability and health. But always remember to follow the principle of progression. You must start at a low level or low difficulty and slowly increasing the level of difficulty. For more questions or clarifications, please ask your PE teachers during your follow-up discussions. My fellow Valenzuelanos, once again, I am Mr. Patrick Nidarila. Let us always bear in mind that there is always fun in learning. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you and God bless. Here are some of the references for all the images utilized on this presentation.